So on this video, you're gonna see the results of the one piece cylinder that I've installed into this DSG. Um, hmm, yeah, you're gonna have to watch the video. It's uh, quite surprising. So here we go. So in this video, we're going to do a versus, really, to see if this one-piece cylinder um, is better than my epoxy cylinder head and cylinder. So pretty basic. Um, I've done some before FPS with this. Um, and I'll show you the video. So this DSG on full auto is 307 average FPS. And then on semi, um, it is 298, which is unusual because normally um, full auto is a little bit lower than semi, but it's just how this one is. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if I do get an FPS gain. Hopefully I do, because that is $50. Um, it's quite expensive, I guess, for a cylinder. Um, whereas that setup, as I previously said, only cost me $7, so... Um, hopefully I have some good gains. I have noticed though, and I have read before that the inside of that, the way they machine it, it's not really that smooth. So that will be interesting. Um, and I'll compare them a bit better later when I actually pull this apart and hopefully get some good angles on the camera. You better see it's uh, not as smooth. And you can even see if you look down there, you can see that there's a, a big difference, but I'm sure it's not really going to make that much of a difference with FPS, but you never know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, also, I don't know if, if you guys have MK boxes. Most of you probably already know, but in case you don't, see how the, um, the nozzle is sitting back a little bit, which means that it's stopped and the... Uh, Tabber plate's been picked up by the sector gear. Um, so when you undo your box, it can like kind of like explode. It doesn't really explode, but it'll, it'll pop. And sometimes you can lose little bits and pieces. It might knock the shims off the sector gear. On the underside of the gearbox, you have this hole here. And that's actually so that you can release all the, the load off of the uh, sector gear and the tabber plate. So you put the, whatever you have inside, I can't see. and just release all the tension. So now there's nothing there. So when I pull it apart, um, nothing's gonna go flying anywhere. So handy little tip if you're not sure what that was for. So the first thing I uh, noticed is it's just a tad bit long, maybe maybe a millimeter, half a millimeter. It's, it'll almost fit. I'm just going to have to uh, shave it down a tad, but that's not a biggie. So maybe I'll take uh, half a mil off the, the back there and it should just drop in. No problems. So it's taking me about five minutes um, to just shave the back of that off. Uh, and now it fits in perfectly. So no dramas there. If you do have to shave the back, just make sure you clean the internals of the cylinder out um, before you use it because those little metal shavings will be in there. And it's a good idea Whenever you get a new cylinder to just give it a wash, especially the inside, um, because I'm not sure what they, they code it in 
uh, in China, but it, it does have some sort of coating. Um, it's like an oily residue that you want to clean off. Uh, probably stops it corroding or something similar to that anyway. Um, so give them a good clean when you get them and let them dry before you put them in. Otherwise you're going to get all of that gunk all over your O-ring. Alright, so I've got to make a decision at the moment on how to correct my AOE properly. Do I... That's the spacer that I need. That's the, the damper spacer, whatever you want to call it. That's what I need to get my AOE uh, correct. Now, there is some sort of damper or um, sorbo at the bottom of that. But to get the right AOE, I need to add more. So I'm not really in favor of trying to drop something in there and, and gluing it down like that. So I think my other only option is to um, place it between the piston and the piston head. Now I haven't done this before. Um, all the other times I will normally add the sorbo pad to the back of the cylinder head. In this circumstance, probably gonna have to do something different. I've seen plenty of people do it, I've just never done it. And I don't know if that uh, is going to be hard enough. And then I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna super glue it all together. But I'm just concerned that maybe that's gonna wobble back and forth, possibly. Mm, shouldn't do if I super glue it, but you never know. I guess um, hmm. I'm, I'm gonna do it and see what happens. Like I had a really good setup before and I'm kinda, I'm a bit nervous that I'm gonna do all this and it's gonna be worse off than what I had before. That's all I'm concerned about. Um, and then I'm in the middle of a game and then maybe something breaks, which is really gonna be annoying. So here's my piston now. Uh, I've got the spacer between the piston and the piston head. Um, it seems pretty rigid, the way I've done it. Um, I guess just be careful if, if you do go this method because some of them you can already buy have the centering um, pin, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's got, a, it's got a centering part on it, the spacer, so that the piston head is centered correctly on the piston, whereas what I've used doesn't, so you need to make sure that you center the piston correctly, or the piston head correctly onto the, the piston body to make sure it's not off center. Um, so I've done that. Uh, not 100% sure on the, the durability of this, um, but I guess we'll see. Uh, I was just about to assemble, um, and I just put the nozzle on and what I've just noticed is there's a lot of friction there. Um, it doesn't really seem ideal at all. Whereas if I put it on that one, especially at the speed it's gonna be going, um, I'm not really sure how that's gonna play out. It's, um, it's quite a lot of friction, like, Maybe it just needs time to wear in. Hmm. Um, I'll show you a test fire. Um, it does actually sound really good. I know the video, sometimes the videos come across and it sounds uh, a bit screechier than what they are in real life. Um, and I don't know why that is, but it does. It actually sounds really good. Um, sounds better than it did before anyway. So this is semi. And then full auto. So um, the nozzle looks okay. I'm not 100% sure if it's moving quick enough. I'm not going to really know until we have it back on the blaster and we do the FPS check.
blew the barrel up, fired off a couple of rounds. Now I'm going to do the tanning shots on semi and see if there's an FPS increase. Right now we'll do full auto. Though I do have a feeling that it is misfiring. Investigate that a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to do redo the full auto because I was getting uh, 315 average FPS on full auto um, off camera. So I'm going to try and see if I can get that again. So yeah, that's been an improvement. Um, I'm gonna do another round of semi because I did another round of full auto, so it's only fair. Now that the barrel's fully lubed up, There you have it. There has been an improvement. That is actually a pretty good FPS for a DSG and that's running at M170 spring so pretty happy with that.